Hello everyone. I've been getting a lot of questions on how I was able to successfully load FreeDOS into Box. Um, it was very simple, it was just a couple steps. But since it sounds like a lot of you are having difficulty and are asking me how I was able to do it, I thought the easiest way to explain it to you would be to show you a quick uh, screen capture video tutorial on how to uh, load FreeDOS into Box. So the first step is to open Box, which I uh, downloaded from the link provided in the PowerPoint and installed it on the C drive. Uh, when you first open Box, this prompt shows up asking you what to load into it. So I select Load, and then I went to the place where I saved FreeDOS, which happened to be on a separate disk from my C disk. And that was just because I'm running out of space on my C disk. Uh, I didn't bother to uh, burn FreeDOS to a disk. Um, I know it, it comes in a disk image file, but I figured that wasn't necessary, so I thought I'd try uh, without burning it to a disk and just saving it uh, to a hard drive. Um, it sounds like those of you who did burn it to a disk and are trying to load the files from the disk are having difficulty. So if that's not working, try doing this instead, just saving it to a drive and opening the files from there. So when I first opened the FreeDOS folder with the files in it, um, nothing showed up uh, under this box config files directory. So I s changed it to show all files, and then these five files showed up. Obviously these three files here are um, disk image files, and this one here is a text file. So I figured the only one that maybe would work is this one. So just out of assumption, uh, I just selected that hoping that would be the one to work. And it happened to also have the same name as the text that was pre-typed right here. So I select open and then this prompt showed up. Which I'm not even sure what that means. Then I went over here to select start simulation and this popped up. And there you go, that seems to be all there was to it to getting it to work. Um, it appears that FreeDOS is now working properly in the emulator. Um, so that's what I did. I don't know if other people have tried this and it's not working for them. Uh, but this is uh, what worked for me to get uh, FreeDOS working in Box. So I hope this uh, clears up some confusion.